Hey YouTubers, how you guys doing? So I am trying out a new area of filming, as you can tell. No more of my same old closet background in my bed. But yeah, let me know how you guys think of this lighting. It is my new ring light I got as a gift from my bestie. So I'm just trying this out and it's just easier for me to not have to film on days that is like bright out because now that I have a light, it's a lot easier. Today's look is based on the Max Next to Nothing um, line. I just wanted to show you guys how I use it. Uh, this is the look I usually wear. It's like the fresh, dewy, luminous skin. Great for summertime coming around the corner. It feels like nothing on the face, which is what I personally love. If you've been watching my videos for a minute now. It's just an awesome product. I highly recommend for anyone who is starting out with makeup, who are mature skin, young skin, middle aged skin, doesn't matter, it's all type of skin. And it just works really, really well. For my girls and guys who have troubled skin, acne prone skin, I wouldn't recommend this by itself. You can definitely use it as a primer underneath your foundation because this technically is not a foundation. It's called face color. The reason why is because it doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's, I want to say it's a little bit less than a tinted moisturizer depending what brand tinted moisturizer you're going to use. Um, I personally think it's amazing. It looks great, feels great. Um, the powder is one of my favorite ones. It's like this luxurious velvety smooth powder that you can get at, at um, luxury brands such as maybe YSL. It feels impeccable and it's still a powder that gives you that luminous finish it's really hard to find nowadays without that caked on powdery look because it doesn't look like that it just looks like skin um but yeah that's just all there is to it everything in this video is going to be all mac products um, the only thing that i did not use this mac is uh, my beauty blender i just also want to show you guys how it looks like with using a beauty blender in case some of you guys are wondering how it looks like with that sponge um other than that, that's all I have to say, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's kind of like one of those no makeup makeup looks with fresh skin, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.